Hello everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. In today's video I'll be showing you guys how to get the TNT Dome Key 2. That way you can change the ammo type on your alien pistol. Thank you to a comment. Thanks to a comment a couple months ago. No, it's been a month. Thanks to a comment about a month ago. Anyways, let's jump into it. Also, I would like to take the time in this intro to apologize for not being as active as I used to be on this channel. Uh, I've just been going through a lot of uh, personal issues and just trying to spend more time with the family. Uh, but I will try to be back with some more content besides Fallout. Anyways, let's jump into it. The location I'm going to be showing you guys first is how to get the alien blaster. The location we want to add over to is right under this little monarch butterfly it looks like in Grafton. Once you are in this area you should notice what seems to be now a pond, a radiated pond. Inside the radiated pond you should see a foundation of a house. In the middle should be a bathtub and then there should be a safe in the middle of this mess <laughs> also bring protection because the water is radiated obviously here you can get some right away a damaged hazmat suit and some red x here's the alien blaster in all its glory <laughs> There you go, you have the alien blaster. Also, I almost forgot the important part. Make sure you grab the rusted key that's in the safe with the alien blaster. The next location we want to head over to is Freddy Fears House of Scares. It looks to be a old pre-war um, Halloween store where you can get costumes and decorations and all that. Also, do be careful coming here considering there is high level ghouls and possibly a windigo. Whatever direction you may come from, we want to head through the back. In the back, you should see a fire escape stairs or whatever you call them leading up. Make your way up the stairs. Making sure we don't get any surprises. looks clear to me I'm gonna check this little tube box out okay since we're all clear we want to head over to this door here under the door should be a note called leaving town you can pick it up you will if you want you could pause and read it but it's pretty short anyways since you have the rusted key, what you want to do is you want to open the door with the rusted key. Head inside. And in the distance, you should see a hollow tape underneath the desk. What you want to do is pick that up and off to the next location. The next location you want to head over to is a unmarked location, or should be an unmarked location in Morgantown. Once you are in the area of the mark, you want to go ahead and look for scaffolding leading up. Here we go. Up this little scaffolding jump down and we want to enter through this door here shadow breeze apartments of course there will be ghouls in here so do be careful now we want to head over to the top floor
Once you made it to the top floor, you should see a room with a single terminal. Use the terminal and you want to write access code to holotape right at the bottom. The next location we want to head over to is Pleasant Valley Cabins over here by Top of the World. Once you are here, you should see a building that might have been a cafe at some point. And the building we want to head over to is this lodge cabin with the red, or excuse me, with the green roof on it, with the red car in front. There should be enemies in here, so do be careful. Now you should see another room with another terminal. Under the terminal should be a little piece of paper called Trevor's Note. You can read it if you want, but for now we're going to skip it. Now what you want to do is you want to hop on to the terminal. Now generate one time key right there at the bottom. And I do recommend you write this down or type it into your phone because you will need this and it does. Um, it can only work once. So do write this down. Otherwise, you may forget. Once you're done that, what you want to do is you want to hop out this window here. Hop off the porch very carefully. Now, you should see a way underneath the porch. Squeeze through these rocks. And then there should be a safe next to a keypad. What you want to do is you want to put the code you just got into the keypad. And then it should unlock the save where you can get the TNT Dome Key 2. The next location we want to head over to is right by Vault 76. It's right here on the map. Once you're here, we're going to take a bit of a walk. Just keep getting straight down this road. And I'll go ahead and skip it. Just keep heading east. After a bit of walking, you should come across another dome called the TNT Dome 2. Unlock it with the key. And there you guys go. Again, do be careful. There's a lot of radiation in here. Here you can get tons of hazmat suits, some um, radex. It looks like one of those cryopods we see in Fallout 4 in Vault 111. And on the table should be the alien blaster ammo. And also the plans to turn the ammo type into um, fusion mags. It looks like the, the yellow batteries. And there you guys go. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching again. I really do appreciate you guys watching my my uh, Fallout guides. It really means a lot to me. Also, if this video helped you, please give it a like and also subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. And please do leave comments below if I missed anything or if I should cover anything, items or uh, weapons or anything like that. I can show you guys where they are. So do leave those ideas in the comments below and I will do my best to get to them uh, if you have not already if you want join my discord we're all about uh, open world games including Fallout 76 so if you need help with a quest or defeating enemies or something like that come on in say hi anyways guys thank you guys so much take care